Hello guys, it is Everything you Pan here, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Vista in VirtualBox. This is a updated video, um, since I haven't made a Vista tutorial since 2015, so we're going to do an updated one for you guys. Um, hopefully that it goes through more clear, and uh, I will still include the same ISOs that I had in the link in the description to the first one. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. This is going to be a very simple installation, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do this uh, in VirtualBox here. So there's going to be some links in the description. One will be with VirtualBox, one for WinRAR, and then the others for either the 64-bit or the 32-bit version of Vista, depending on the specs of your PC or which version you want to use. I'm going to be using the 64-bit version in this video just because my PC specs can for sure handle that. Um, but you can use either one to your likings. So we're going to go ahead and create a new virtual machine. We're just going to call it Windows Vista. And it's going to automatically select the 64-bit edition. You can go in and do the 32-bit if you'd like. Um, but I'm going to do 64-bit. Go ahead and click Next. And then I'm going to bump this up. You can bump this up a little bit if you want. I'm going to bump this up to, let's do, uh, I'm going to do 4 gigs of RAM since I have 16 accessible in here. And then click Next. You can leave it at the base of 512 megabytes if you want. just might run a little slow for some of you. Um, and then we're going to create a virtual hard drive, which is going to be 25 gigs, but it's not going to take up 25 gigs of space since it is not a fixed size. Go ahead and create that virtual hard drive. And there, our virtual machine has been created. So go ahead and go up to Settings here and click the Storage tab. And then there's this empty little disk part here. You're going to want to hit this and then browse for your Windows Vista ISO that you have saved. And mine is saved in its own folder, and they are named differently here just so I know which one is which. So I'm going to select the 64-bit ISO and click Open. And then once you're done with that, all you got to do is click OK and then we can finally go ahead and start the virtual machine and it's going to load up here and it'll say Windows is loading files and you know what I'm gonna make this full screen for you guys just so you don't have to see all the white around in here that way you can just see this and it's going to go ahead and load up into the setup of Windows Vista And as you can see, uh, for anybody that's used Windows Vista or installed it before, you've seen the screen before, here it is. So go ahead and select your language and your keyboard layout, whatever you need to do here, and go ahead and click Next. And then go ahead and click Install Now. And it'll say, please wait, and it will load up for a product key activation. You do not need a product key to install this. Um, of course, it will not be activated, but I don't think you plan on activating a virtual machine. Um, plus, they do not even support mainstream for Vista. They haven't done so for a while now. Um, so to bypass this, just go ahead and click Next, and then click No on this screen, and it will bypass that. And you can select whichever version you would like. This is pretty much an all-in-one uh, type ISO. And I'm going to go ahead and select the Ultimate Edition then check I've selected the edition of Windows I've purchased then you will be able to click next and then it will come up to the license terms you do not have to read this whole entire thing as you can see it is long um, so go ahead and just check the box to accept the license terms and click next and then obviously you can't upgrade because you're not you don't have another operating system installed so we do custom and then you see your 25 gig unallocated drive here we're going to go ahead and install it on that and click Next. And then now it's going to begin the process of copying all the files and installing Vista. And it's going to restart a couple times during the installation. I believe twice or three times at the most. I know two times for sure. So just let it do its thing here. This is the part that should take uh, the longest out of all of them. But we'll see here. And... I'm going to pause this for you guys just so you don't have to watch all this. And I'll be back once we hit our first restart point. So here we are on our first restart point. And we're going to go ahead and restart now. 
it's full screen again. It's going to restart your virtual machine. And do not press any key to boot from the CD or DVD here. And it's going to automatically load up into the second part of the setup. And it'll say, please wait while Windows sets up your computer. And it's going to load up into the second part of the setup. This may take a little bit of time to load on uh, the first time, of course, since you know Windows Vista is an older operating system. It should not take too long, but um, it's just doing some things while it's setting up your computer. And it may restart one more time after this. I'm not sure. It might restart during this. I can't quite remember for sure. Here you see uh, we got the mouse up, so we're about to load up into our next part here. It'll say, please wait while we continue to set up your computer. And this is the next part, the completing installation. This part will take a little bit of time as well. So just let this sit and do its thing. You'll see the green bar progress down here. It should keep going um, as it is installing. Um, but just let this do its thing it's going to take a little bit of time and it should be done in a few minutes it may take about five minutes at the most I would think but um, yeah so just let this sit here and it will do its thing and I will be back with you guys once we hit our next restart point okay so it actually went a little quicker than I thought so it's going to reboot one more time and once again do not press any key to boot from the CD or DVD and it's going to load up into Vista here and I believe it should be done setting things up and you should be able to log in this time um, but it'll give you some stuff to ask you to create your uh, user account and that kind of stuff so Just give it a little bit of time and it will load it up here. So to ask you to create a username and choose a picture. So we're going to type in everything you can for the username. And uh, if we're going to pick a picture, let's pick, oh, we'll just pick the dog. Um, you can uh, don't have to type in a password. Click next. Uh, it's going to ask you to name your PC. I'm just going to call it. Windows Vista and go ahead and click next you can choose a background if you like I guess I could have done that um, and then it's gonna ask you what uh, what you want to do here if you want to use the recommended settings or install important updates only or even ask me later we're just gonna use the recommended settings now you're gonna select your time zone go ahead and click next and then it's going to ask to select your location I'm going to assume you're probably at a home. It'll say thank you, and then you can click start, and you are finished setting things up, and it will finally log you in here uh, into the desktop after it does this uh, check. It's going to check your computer's performance, kind of check out what you got in it. So um, this can take, it'll take just a little bit, and then it will finally load you up. See, it should play the startup sound or the logon sound. We'll see what it does here. If there's audio, so it'll log you in and prepare your desktop. And you see that it is the ultimate edition. I have Windows Vista Ultimate on in here installed. and it will take just a little bit here of course it takes longer the first time since it's got to get all the stuff ready and it's going to keep loading i'm going to 
wait it out here. I'm not going to pause it because I want to see how long this will take. It shouldn't take that long since I've got 4 gigs of RAM dedicated to it, but we'll see here. And once it's done preparing your desktop, you will now see the desktop and you are now logged in. It didn't play any sounds, which I thought was weird. There are audio drivers installed and network drivers. So the audio should work, but it doesn't seem to be working at all right now. So that's okay. Um, so yeah, if you're at the desktop here and you're able to maneuver around into the operating system, that means you've successfully installed it. So leave a like on the video if it ended up working for you. And if there were some issues that you had during setup, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below and I will try and help out as best as I can. And uh, so that's going to end it for me. If you guys have any sort of suggestions for videos, um, leave a comment down below as well. And if you're not yet subscribed, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified whenever I upload a video, hit the bell button to be sent a notification whenever I upload. So that ends the video and the tutorial for you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.